I be meeting like nice put together older men who don't have any kids. I be thinking like, what's what's wrong with you? Like, like is this something like? I don't know what she's talking about. It's a bunch of men out here that don't have a bunch of babies everywhere. I got friends and homeboys who don't have a bunch of kids, and they and I remember back in the day in college, these guys took steps. Even if they did get a young lady pregnant, you know, unfortunately, they got that young lady to the clinic and got her there fast. So, you know, I think a lot of guys just never really got caught up in having a bunch of kids or a lot of men was on their purpose. These are the type of men that she don't know or probably never met for sure. But I think she need to be asking herself what type of men are she running into? Are those all the guy, all the men you know got babies but it's a bunch of level-headed brothers out there who just never made that mistake or you know really went down that rogue and getting into the traps of relationships y'all please stop letting hating men and women bully you out of finding and wanting to be with a rich man there is literally no award for suffering and being with a rich man is lit like you're not stressed out you can focus on yourself you get to do one in a lifetime experiences and worst case scenario if you get played at least you get a good return on your investment like I don't understand why you wouldn't. It really burns my blood when you see another woman telling women and telling little girls that it's perfectly okay to be a gold digger or a leech to the man that you're dating. So that's why I think a lot of women really put their self outside of the dateable or the marriage material category is because of unfortunately because of her her career and her degrees so my problem with this is this man has presumed i've done nothing with my life all because i said you should date a rich man when in reality i'm a double barred attorney but whatever that doesn't matter what matters is that men pick and choose when they believe in gender roles so they believe in gender roles when it's time for you to take their last name and erase your entire lineage they believe in gender roles when it's time for you to cook and clean and take care of the kids but then they don't believe in gender roles when it's time to financially provide for you then suddenly i'm a leech how does that make sense? So at least she is keeping it real and honest. Because if I had a daughter, now what man wouldn't be telling his daughter that, hey, you go after the best possible candidate for a man, you find your rich man, whatever. But the problem is this lady is coming across like she's entitled to what somebody else has worked for. It's the, it's the entitlement part that rub a lot of guys the wrong way with women who only want to date a guy on that level. Due to her high goals of seeking a man that's high earning, she forgot one stat that's very important. It's the stat that there's not a lot of millionaires like that in certain countries, certain states. There's a small percentage of these men who are earning those a million dollars a year profits. And the ones that are, they're not interested in her or they're married. Because accomplished women think that they should be with accomplished men. That's the downfall in all this. Just like struggling people think you, you should be with somebody else that's struggling. It, it don't work that way. Both the both of you guys can come together regardless of your level that your the man is at or the, regardless of the level that the woman is at. As long as you guys can come together and work together as a team. Uh, all this conceited struggle for power in a relationship is the downfall. For her to be targeting other women with this message, that's also points off the board because that definitely doesn't make her relationship worthy. And she probably and she look like she definitely understand the game. So um, she can be with a rich man as long as she's willing to deal with all the other choices a rich man makes. Society has this really weird obsession with stripping the femininity away from black women. All right, look, I'm sure this is going to get me into trouble, but I want to hear everybody's opinion on this. And please understand, I realize I'm making this observation as a white dude. Oh, that's okay, my brother. You can speak on it. Hey, uh, we all bleed red. That's why I want to hear everybody else's opinion. So she says that society is stripping away the femininity of black women. However, throughout my life, I've met very few feminine black women. Like seriously, when I think about all the women I've encountered in my life, and I think specifically about the black ones, I can honestly say that there's only been one or two instances where they've been feminine. The vast majority of black women I've encountered have been brusque and aggressive. And even though a ton of them have been absolutely fucking gorgeous, they were significantly more masculine than they were feminine in the way they acted, not the way they looked. So my question is, do you think it's society doing it? Or is it just the behaviors of black women in society today? throughout my life, 
I've met very few feminine black women. Mm, 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 mm. You see what you black women started? You were so quick to talk about your own men and raise up and praise these men over here. Now they turn in against you. What you going to do now? It's not like anybody asked him his opinion, but this goes to show you what we have all been trying to tell you for the longest. They are only using you to destroy our family structure and you fell for it. And now they're turning their backs on you. Who you going to have now? So it's glad to see that uh, black men are not, you know, we're not just saying that women are aggressive or masculine. Apparently other people agree too. So, but this is definitely something we all saw coming. A lot of black women went to those men and other races, which was fine, but they thought that they was going to get a different treatment or a better treatment. And it's kind of like in the end, people are going to be people just like women who decide to stop dating men and go date women. And they get heartbroken and go through the same things, relationship issues they went with with a man. It's not one particular gender that's the problem. It's just how human beings are. Y'all do know it's natural to hate, not hate your partner, but dislike your partner in a relationship, right? Y'all can't just be up and leaving like, oh my God, we argue. I hate this guy. I hate this girl. I can't take it no more. The next person gonna treat me right, bro. You really think if you're going to sit with somebody for a lifetime, you're going to like them all the time? No. Nah. Not because if that's the case, they hide in mass secrets from you. Y'all over here talking about something. I want five, six years max. I want a long ass time with somebody. I want forever. We are dying together. Where do you think you're going? You're not going nowhere. What? You're mad? Go take a walk. You're mad? Go smoke on a spliff. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Because the minute I'm attached... The minute I'm attached and the minute I am in love with you, like head over heels, you're not going nowhere. Like we're really dying together. We in this for life. But y'all not ready for this conversation. I think people be getting in relationships for the wrong reason. I think a lot of people just want to be with somebody for a certain season and a lot of couples move a bit too fast. But the issue with a lot of young couples and sometimes older couples, people are not used to living with other people. They're not used to being around somebody 24 seven or something. And people are not used to conflict resolution. Like they don't know that it's healthy to have a, um, a conversation about something that's bothering them to be able to go ahead and get rid of that issue before it turns into a bigger issue. I like this little young lady attitude. You know, there ain't no sense of getting married or getting with somebody if you're not thinking long term. So fellas, be careful who you tell I love you and play your, your mind games with. These women, these women, some of these women, they gonna hold on to you forever or definitely try to. But that's all I got in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like the video and definitely drop a comment down below. I wanna know what you guys think. I appreciate you for watching. I will see you in the next video.